box again today. Um, it has not been as long as it was the last time I went between check-ins of the PO box, but um, it's still really, really cool. I'll show you guys the little mountain of packages I have. Yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted to go through them and just thank everybody that sent me things because it's really cool. And also the gifts that people send me are sometimes so thoughtful um, and it's it just blows me away every time. So here we go. This is from Jessica Ryan. Sometimes I get nervous because I'm just like opening random mail from people. Oh, okay. What is it? I'm like, what if it's just bees? <laughs> okay, it's a little oil. A girl will soon realize she should have searched harder for the note. Okay, maybe there's a note. Maybe I'll look for the note. Card. We'll start with the card. It's the Golden Girls! <laughs> oh, this person's from my Patreon. There was no explanation of what's in the box, but... She still hasn't Box. found the note. Maybe it'll all make sense when it's all open. It's Taco Bell um, taco seasoning. They sent me literal just like taco seasoning because they know me well in Patreon. <laughs> This box was sent before I made the video of my favorite things last week. <laughs> that is so funny. That's incredible. I don't know what that is. A little dipstick thing. Goes like this. No. That, this makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Can you just see the confusion on my face? Ah, here we go. Finally. Got it. These are from Egypt and they are essential oils. This is a little diffuser. And then she gave me tea light candles to put underneath it. This is really cool. And then the, the oils here. That makes sense now. Okay. Jessica, thank you so much. Next is from Harper Collins Publishers. Wait. Ooh. It's a box inside of a box. Boxception! All right, goodbye. This is from Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey. Do you see the goosebumps happening on my arm? This is a handwritten note. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh. This is a handwritten note from Angela Kinsey and signed by Jenna Fisher. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> So this is their new book. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. I am going to read this entire thing. The front just says, hi. Hi. It looks like a scrapbook. I cannot believe this is happening right now. I cannot believe that two people that I have watched my entire life on TV and look, looked up to, oh. this is too much. <laughs> is because um, The Office has been my like anxiety show for my whole life, basically. I watched it live on television and then I ended up watching it like on Netflix and streaming when it came out and now on Peacock. I have put that show on in the background for years and years and just had it playing just because I wanted the sound of it to like make me feel like I wasn't alone. I would put it on when I was working. I put it on when I was like brushing my teeth when I was eating, when I was cooking, like there was never a moment where the office like, wasn't on in the background in some way, shape or form. I have looked up to the cast and their comedy and their like personalities and their friendships and their writing styles just for, for my, my whole life. And the fact that I am holding a book from Jenna and Angela with a handwritten note is like too much. <laughs> There's also a box here, and I'm afraid I'm gonna cry even harder if I open the box. I bet it's a mug or something. Yup. <laughs> it just says the office BFFs. It is your mug. <laughs> this is too much. Okay, pull yourself together. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Next is from J JDL VCA feeling this is another mug. Wait, 
This is an office mug from Becky from Patreon. It's an office mug. <laughs> How fitting is that? You miss a hundred per shots of the. You miss a hundred percent of the shots. You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Wayne Gretzky, Michael Scott. Immediately after I open the office, ladies. Okay, great. Moving on. Ray Gun Cedar Rapids. You know what? I bet this is a mug too. People like sending me mugs. Makes sense. I was right. Cedar Rapids. Wake up and smell the crunch berries. I don't get it. Is there a note? I feel like I'm missing a joke. I love the no context. It's very fun for me. It just, I like to make up stories. Like somebody had a family reunion at Cedar Rapids and grandma's favorite cereal is crunch berries. So every single morning um, they all would get together and eat crunch berries in the morning. And then they go on the whitewater rafting and grandma just took the whitewater rafting a little bit too crazy. And one day she just threw up and she threw up multicolored Captain Crunch crunch berries. That's what I like to believe is happening here. Bye, Grandma. <laughs> Next is from Custom Ink. <gasps> this is Bo Burnham's merch. This is from Bo Burnham. Has anybody seen Bo Burnham's special Inside on Netflix? You have to go watch it. Stop what you're doing right now. Stop this video and go watch it. What is my life? Okay, pull it together. Okay, next. Wait, I think I know what this is actually. Let me see. When I was on a vacation in California for the month of April, in one of my Airbnbs, there was a record player and I told my like Patreon people how much I loved the record player. So I would play records all day and August loved it so much. And I think that one of them <laughs> bought me a record player. Oh my gosh. She is in all of her glory. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is like a beverage person, but I have three beverages here. I have coffee, a LaCroix, and then just normal water. Cause you never know what you're gonna need, right? You never know. Okay. This feels like a wedding invitation. <laughs> I knew it. Zoe and Matt Lloyd. That's really funny. I like that people are like, just come to my wedding. That's hilarious. <laughs> to take a momentary pause, my camera died, but we're back now. We're going back. Next up. Very bizarre shaped one. Hold on, I just randomly got nervous that I'm missing a meeting. <laughs> no, just what I thought. It's really hard. I do a lot of business in different time zones, and so I'm always like 99% sure I have meeting times right, but there's always like that 1% that's like, what if they sent you the wrong time because they don't know you're in central time? It's mild panic every time I get onto a meeting, it's no big deal. Ooh. Our kitchen could use a charcuterie board. So I made one specifically for you, chef. You made this? I like that you called me chef, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. <gasps> you put my name in it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The Lumberjack Kitchen. This is so cool. It also kind of looks like Nebraska. Was it meant to look like Nebraska or was that just an accident? This is so cool, thank you so much. Hunter Clayton. My name in it is really cool. And last but not least, this is a huge box from The Knot. The Knot, like the wedding company? Wait, what? Wait, wait. Jojo and Jordan, wait, what? This is Jojo and Jordan from The Bachelor. I'm confused. Am I being invited to your wedding right now? What? No. Oh, okay. I feel dumb. It's just a stationary ad. <laughs> I genuinely thought Jojo and Jordan were in like inviting me to their wedding and you were just watching that happen. That makes more sense. Okay. It's like a bunch of stuff. I don't really understand, but that's okay. It's like Elise's fantasy suite. Chocolate, candles. I'm very confused. They've partnered with The Knot to create an exclusive wedding invitation suite to reflect the vibe of their upcoming vineyard wedding. Is Jojo Jo- Oh, like if someone wants- Okay, 
if someone wants to like make stationery for their wedding to be like Jojo and Jordan's. Got it, okay. That was a pretty close call though, Jojo and Jordan. So if you do want me at your wedding. <laughs> okay, so my camera died one more time and honestly it cut off in the perfect place because I thought I was invited to Jojo and Jordan's wedding and turns out I wasn't, but I will show you what it looks like because it was very deceiving. <laughs> So immediately I just saw their photo and I was like, save the date, oh my God. And then I'm just like, this is it. I'm being invited to their wedding. <laughs> and the more I looked at it, the more I realized that's already happened. This is just fake dates and this is an ad for stationery. Oh my gosh, okay, great, perfect. So that was the last thing in my um, haul, but I just wanted to close it out and say hi. Also, I wanted to show you something. So I just got um, a couch delivered at my studio here and I've been trying to figure out a cool, eclectic, fun way to decorate this place and have it just feel fun, right? Like all of the content I create, I want um, the background of it to just feel like a breath of fresh air. And so I was like, I've always wanted an, a yellow couch and so I'm just gonna do it and I wanna show you. Ta-da! Isn't that so cool? It's missing the legs, but I need to put the legs. And then the, we've got the rug, and these are chairs that are going to be put together today as well. I'm absolutely obsessed. I cannot wait um, to see it all kind of come together, but I'm really excited. So I'll show you what I did with the record player upstairs as well. I needed a pretty background because it's just been a blank wall pretty much the whole time. So I put the record player up there and I wanna show you what it looks like. Okay, ready? Ta-da! So I have this as the background of my Zoom call today. Isn't that so beautiful? And I have my hats, just a couple of them. But I thought that was really stunning, so thank you. All right, love y'all so much. Thank you for all of your gifts. That is incredibly kind. I can't believe I cried over Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey's book, but makes sense. I'm a huge fan. So love you guys, and I will see you at the next video. Bye.